Hello everyone, this is Deepankar Kushari. I am a senior analytics solutions architect with AWS. Today, we are going to learn how you can easily build in-place visualizations from your results using Amazon Redshift Query Editor V2. Amazon Redshift Query Editor V2 provides a free serverless web interface that reduces the operational cost of managing query tools and infrastructure. For today's session, we will focus on building visualizations using Query Editor V2. Now let's talk about our demo today. We are going to use product review dataset. Each dataset consists of observations or records which hold numerical values called measures or facts and descriptive information used to categorize those numerical values called dimensions. Here you can see the design of the schema where stored cells is the fact table and we have dimension tables such as customer demographics, date deem item and promotion. Stored cells table stores numerical values such as sold quantity, sale price and the dimension table store descriptive information such as name of the item, gender, marital status of the customer. Now, as a data analyst working for a marketing research firm, I would like to know in 2020, which were the most popular products with no email or event campaign among married male with a college degree? Or in 2020, what was the buying pattern of young urban married professionals with a college degree based on their marital status? Or if I am looking to run a promotion targeting a demographic of young urban professionals with a college degree, I would like to know how many units of men's t-shirt were bought by married male with a college degree each month in 2020. So now let's go to Redshift Query Editor V2 and show you how we can run queries to get answers to these questions and easily build in-place visualizations from those results. Here we are in Redshift Query Editor V2, and I have already connected to the Redshift cluster where I have the product review dataset loaded. So the first query we are going to run will tell us the top 10 products which were bought by the married male with a college degree in 2020. So let's click on run to run this query. And as you can see, the query has run and it gives me those top 10 products in ascending order. Now, if I want to create the chart or in place visualization, then I just need to click on this toggle button and then it gives me this window and then I can click on this expand button, which will give me the full screen. And uh, if I want to create the visualization, I just need to click on this trace. Now let's say I want to create a bar chart. So I will select the type of the chart and then I will go here and select bar. For the X axis, I'm going to choose the items and for the Y axis, I'm going to choose the quantity for the item. So now you can see that the bar chart is created and it shows in descending order from left to right how many each of these products were bought. And then you can also see the names of the product at the bottom across the X axis and in the Y axis it shows in millions how many each of those products were bought. Now if I want to give a name to this chart, then I can just give a name at the top of this chart. So let me put it here and as you can see i have now given a name to the chart now let's look at the answer to the second question which is how many t-shirts were sold each month which were bought by the married male who has college degree so again i will click on run and it gives me those numbers here for each month starting from january ending in december Again, as I have to create the chart, I will click on this toggle button, which will bring up this chart window, and then I can expand it, and I can click on trace. Now for this one, I want to create a line chart. So I'll click on line, and then for the X axis, I want the month, and for the Y axis, I would want the total quantity by item. And as you can see, the line shows that it started in January where the numbers were higher and then it 
took a dip in February and then it went up all the way in November, probably due to the Thanksgiving. There were more number of T-shirts sold with a discounted price available. And again, it took a dip in December. So with this, I can probably have some idea about how to target the urban male professional who are married with a college degree to perform a campaign. Now let's look at the last one where we are trying to get buying pattern of male professionals with a college degree based on their marital status. Let me run the query by clicking on this run button. Here is the result set. It shows total items bought by male professionals with a college degree grouped by their marital status. Now let's build a chart. We will create a pie chart in this case to see what percentage of items were bought by each marital status group. So to create the chart again, I will go to the right, click on this toggle button and it brings up the chart window. I can just click on this expand button to get a better view. Now to create the chart, I will click on trace and then click on the type of chart. As I said, I will create a pie chart in this case. For the values, I will choose the total quantity by item. And for the labels, I will choose the marital status. So as you can see, this now shows each marital status group constituting how much percentage across the total item that was bought by the male professionals. Now, if I want to change the style of this chart, I can click on style and then general and click on categorical. And let's say I want uh, this color combination, set three. So now you see the level has changed as well as the color of each portion of the pie has also changed. Hope you have enjoyed the video and learned how you can easily build in-place visualizations from your result using Amazon Redshift Query Editor V2. Thanks for watching the video.